Hi YouTube, my name is Heather and I love anti-MLM content here on YouTube. Today I'm really excited for us to listen to about 15 minutes of a Beachbody team training where an elite coach, meaning she's at least a five-star diamond or above with a certain number of leadership points, is telling her team or potential coaches about the hidden benefits of a career in Beachbody. I'm really excited to get started and as always I'd love to hear your thoughts below. That leads me to number one, the number one benefit of becoming a coach with Beachbody and starting your own business, partnering with this $1.3 billion company, is that you get... That's been literally two seconds, and I'm already pausing, sorry, but she said, the perks of starting your own business and partnering with Beachbody, a one point whatever billion dollar company, how are you starting your own business and partnering with a, a company at the same time? It's been two seconds in and she's already contradicting herself. They like to say they're the CEO of their business, but that's Carl Deichler. They like to say they're business owners. No, Carl Deichler, he is the one running, a, I don't know how much Beachbody is worth, but running potentially a billion dollar business, not them. Free business training, not only from your team, and your coach, if you end up signing up, with, if you end up signing up with an active team and an active coach, and this is where it kind of gets tricky because not everybody is, but if you sign up with an active team with an active coach, you will get free training and mentorship in your business that you're starting. Freaking rad! But you also. Why is that so rad? We know that they're not actual business owners; they're just independent contractors for Beachbody. And in every job I've ever had, you get automatic on the job training. I think that is a given. And that training is free because if you work at Walmart, you work at Starbucks, you're not paying monthly to work at that organization. So it's truly free. But these individuals only get access to this training if they spend $160 for their starter pack, their $15, $16 coach fee. And then if they either sell or buy a certain amount of product and personal volume points every single month so it's not free at all and even if it was free like truly free and you didn't have to pay to join Beachbody that's not a benefit that's just a given in every job you could ever look for in the U.S. or Canada. Get free corporate business training from our company based on she, she was just talking about training from your upline and then now she's talking about training from the company so the corporate employees of Beachbody off of their 20 years of research on what works and what doesn't for coaches so it's phenomenal the training kits and videos that we get uh with just signing up to be a coach this why is it so shocking that your company is providing training documents for you? Again, that's a given. That's automatic in literally any other job you have in North America, Canada, or the U.S. So not a benefit. Second one is annual luxury trips. Again, I had no idea that this was actually a thing. I remember when I first learned about, they're called success club trips. When I first learned about these, I was like, oh, that's only for fill in the blank. <laughs> that's only for the super, super successful people that have been doing this for a really long time. And then on accident, I earned my very first year a free trip to, um, it was the Dominican Republic, to the Hard Rock all-inclusive resort for me and my husband. And we already had plans, unfortunately. We know that beach body trips are never completely free unless you're in the elite top 10 or unless you are just an elite coach, meaning you're five star and above and you get a certain number of leadership points. And for the Success Club trip, I've seen countless other coaches talk about, oh, it's all inclusive. You only have to pay for your airfare to get to wherever you're going. So to get to where the cruise ship is taking off to do this, to do that. And airfare is expensive for sure. And then you're going to talk about this later, but there's also all those conferences again. So unless you're in, you're, unless you're going to the leadership conference, those conferences aren't free either. Uh, so we didn't get to go to the first one, but I earned it. And I had no idea. Even though I was working full-time 40 to 60 hours a week in prison with a baby at home, I still was able to do that. If I could do it, you could do it, anyone could do it. And That's not true. That's like saying, if I can learn tuba in a week, you can also learn tuba in a week. That doesn't make any sense because 
she was able to juggle working in a stressful job with a baby and working a lot on her business and someone else might not have the capacity the resiliency to do that everyone has different characteristic characteristics and histories that will enable them or discourage them to achieve a certain task and to act in a certain manner and so that's not true if she she could just because she could get the success club trip while not knowing what she was doing doesn't mean that I could do it or that anyone watching this video could do it and saying such a flippant empty statement like that that's going to probably convince a few people oh wow that's so that's so motivational I can do that too when it's not true and so we have this incredible incentive program where you can earn a free trip just based on you helping people consistently throughout the year in your business it's phenomenal and it's not that hard to do why can't incentives be cash bonuses if in my job now if i wanted to go on a trip i would just save up and go on a trip if i was in an mlm i would want cash i would want actual bonuses for achieving goals um number two we have annual conventions i started in march and i think it was in june or july when um because our events are usually in june or july our annual conventions called coach summit and i had a baby remember <laughs> a new baby and so i was like it is in nashville that year i was like there's no way i'm going to that like i'm not that sold on this beach party thing i'm not that much of a crazy person that i'm going to take my baby and fly across the country to go to this random convention with a bunch of crazy people. Like, that's not me. And then my coach was like, Jessica, if you're really serious about this, going somewhere, you have to go. And I happened to earn a free ticket because you can as a new... I feel like coaches like to say stories like that about how they weren't truly convinced about Beachbody. Now they love it. She didn't want to go to... She didn't want to go to Summit, and then, like, she went, and now she's so fulfilled. It was such an amazing experience, and I just think that's a way to make these coaches seem more relatable. Like, look, I didn't want to go, and I went, and I loved it, so it's going to be the same for you. Ignore your gut feeling. Ignore the fact that you don't want to drag your baby across the country, or you don't want to waste money on this useless conference. Ignore that. Ignore that feeling. Change your thoughts. Have a positive mindset and say, this is going to change my business, when it's probably not going to. Hey, coach. If you just get three people started within every three for three months within your first six months, I know that was kind of confusing, but you get a free ticket to this to this, to this convention, and they're usually I think full price is almost three hundred bucks or something. She's talking about success starters. So if you sell a challenge pack to three people a month for three months out of your first six months as a coach, then you get a free ticket to Summit, like she just said. But as we know. Some it's extremely expensive and the ticket is only one of like 10 expenses that you could have. So we have these incredible annual conventions. Um, and, and honestly, it's the reason why I'm here. When I went, because I went, it's the reason why I'm still here four years later. It was that big of a deal and it was that powerful and it was so incredible. We have people like who speak on these like Brennan Bouchard and Darren Hardy and we had Rachel Hollis last year. Kendra Hall is going to be speaking this next year. People who I probably never would have heard of if I never wanted to like grow <laughs> as a human. And not only that, but you get to meet up with your team from across the country, sometimes across the world, because we've got coaches in the UK and Canada, and we're going to be branching up into France here soon. And you get to do workouts with the super trainers. You so there's a lot here. I just wanted to touch on, as I said, the ticket isn't one of like 10 expenses. You're going to have to pay for airfare, pay for like gas if you're going across the country, a rental car. They're not going to pay for your hotel. So you have to find a hotel. You have to find food. Any, any expenses that you have while you're at Summit, you have to pay for. Anytime I would go to a work conference, I would get everything paid for automatically. I would have to pay for my expenses out of pocket and then the moment i would get back i would give them all my receipts and i would get everything back and you get a certain amount for like breakfast lunch dinner you get a random amount of spending money every single day and you get everything back 
you get all the money back that you're allotted, even if you don't spend like the 20 or $30 of spending money on top of food and other expenses, you will get that back. Unfortunately, in MLMs, it's only the ticket and then you have to spend so much money on everything else. And a lot of these beach body coaches, unfortunately, don't make any money. And then they could be spending like $500 to $1,000 on this summit and just keep losing money and putting themselves into greater debt. I want to touch on she's talking about how amazing it is to connect with your team potentially from around the world. I think that's trying to pull on the heartstrings of individuals who don't really have friends and connections and say, wow, I want to go to this conference where I can meet all these people and work out and it'll be so amazing. And that's, that's really too bad. She said that the conference is what is why she's still here four years later. And it's just that important. It's that big of a deal. So Beachbody uplines like her will pressure their downlines to get to summit, even if they don't have money, even if they don't have childcare for their kids, because they know that once you're surrounded by 25,000 other coaches, the lights and the music and the emotional, motivational speakers, they're going to go back and continue working their business, even if they have, even if they or they're having doubts and they're questioning the structure and why they're not making money. It, in my opinion, it's used as an indoctrination tool to keep each body coaches in the company for as long as possible. That was a lot of information right there. Let me know what you think about this specific point down below. That point being how important the conferences are. There's Shakeology Bar. Like it is the most incredible experience. You're also going to be encouraged to spend a lot of money on merchandise like clothes and drinks and just beach body crap. Okay, for twenty five to thirty thousand people come together for the sole purpose of learning how to be better at what they do. There's all these people that are passionate about personal development, nutrition, and fitness. And so you have this like aura of positivity that invades the city and is so rad. So that happens once a year. Um, we also have quarterly events called Super Weekends and they're across the country. And you can find one where you are for sure within a few hours. Excuse me, I didn't have one within three hours of me, so I started hosting them, and you can do that. And you get announcements happen at those. Uh, corporate will send you a video if you're the one hosting it. And this is a fun place to come together. We usually do a workout together or Shakeology sampling, and it's, it's just a super fun time. And That's also another major expense for beach body coaches. So as she said, it's kind of a useless event. You just like watch a corporate video and then you work out together. A super trainer might be there depending on the distributors who are at that event. And yeah, like big, another big expense. So gas and food, if you're coming from several hours away, maybe a hotel when majority of these poor people are probably losing money, been in it for years and not seeing any real financial gain. But events like this are meant to just keep you connected to the community as much as possible. So you rely on the people around you and the beach body and beach body as a company. And then you just can't imagine ever leaving. That's unfortunate. And then um, a huge... A huge incentive, a huge benefit to this business that I didn't see coming was the incredible positive community that you get immersed into, not just within Beachbody, but within your team. And that's what one of the things I'm so thankful for about the team that I get to be a part of and mentor is we have the group, a group of the most rad real life people. People who life has not always been easy. They've had to overcome a lot of things. A lot of us are moms, not everybody, but a lot of us. <laughs> Some people are working full time and just getting through. And just, I love our community that we have. And it's such an incredible blessing to be immersed into a group of people that are very real and very encouraging. You know, when life is hard, they're there for you. And I'm very thankful for that. I'm not sure if they would be there for you if you leave the company, though. We've heard stories across YouTube about how they had people had best friends within their companies, not just Beachbody, but others as well. And then when they leave, they're shunned and shut out and uplines are telling them to not talk to that person and ignore them and cut them out. And so, in my opinion, these communities are transactional. It's based on financial gain, not actually on caring about who that person is. And she's just touching on people's need to feel a connection and feel like they belong. In Beachbody, Deanna Mims has said this, they're taught to they're taught to look for the person that they were before Beachbody. So that could be like an overworked mom who's sad she never gets to see her kids, a dad who's like 
unhappy in his job because he's not making enough money to like bring his wife home from her crappy job you know or like a student who like is worried about paying back student loans and so you'll see that these teams are made up of people who are were, are in the general same vulnerable situation and then there's a connection built among those people based on their life experiences. In the Jesse Lee Ward video I posted a while ago, there was an interesting comment about when she was saying you need to share your traumas and your past hard childhood experiences. Someone said that must be a way for the recruits to bond based on their traumas and to form deep connections with people with similar experiences. And I thought that was a really interesting, insightful comment about how community is developed within MLMs because as I just said, they're trained to seek people who are similar to them and people in these teams have similar experiences. A little bit of a ramble, let me know what you think about that below. The next one is personal growth. Um, if you wanna be the best version of yourself, this is the best career to get into. My last job and every nursing job that I really had never really encouraged that. It is like, we will burn you out because we have an agenda and you are an employee, right? We don't really care about your leadership growth or how happy you are or your growth as an individual. Just get your job done and, oh, sorry, you're going to have to stay for a 16-hour shift today because we don't have anyone else. Or you're going to have to cross-cover at three different jobs and figure it out. We'll talk to you if you do something wrong. <laughs> like, that was kind of my environment. So... It seems like a really toxic work environment. I'm sure we've all been in places like that where the bosses just don't care about who you are. I'm gr grateful to be in a place where my boss asks me how I am and actually cares and I have really thoughtful employees, or not employees, sorry, coworkers who care about who I am as a person. But I think Beachbody coaches like to assume that everyone is absolutely miserable in their job and they have horrible bullying bosses and gossipy co-workers and that's just not the case but it fits their narrative that no one would actually want to have a nine-to-five job because it sucks and they're miserable which is not the case and so that's a hundred times but you can participate in personal development activities outside of an MLM there's self-help books you can watch videos you can do it all for free you don't need an MLM because it is a positive thing to want to improve who you are but you don't need to spend $160 and then $16 a month, and then meet your personal volume requirements to work on developing who you are. Again, another ramble, sorry. A huge blessing that this job really prioritizes and emphasizes the importance of personal development and personal growth. Next one is accountability. I mentioned this in a previous video, but accountability for your own health and fitness. You're not just showing up for you, you're showing up for the people around you that you've now made a public commitment statement that hey i'm gonna do this thing as a coach i'm learning i'm learning i don't know everything but i'm gonna show up for myself and i want you to show up with me and it just adds a whole other level of accountability to your to your journey okay i don't have i don't have a whole lot to say about that one other than you can find free groups like that on facebook or youtube I say her name a lot, but Deanna Mims does have a free group on Facebook that I'm pretty sure it's posted. The link of it is posted in all of the descriptions of her videos where people, she posts like a workout calendar for people to input what what they did each day and they all share, everyone shares like their workouts and what their goals are and encourage people. And so you can find free ones and you can also find accountability groups for less money than what beach body would cost you like five or ten dollars a month you can find those too so there are other options for then be other than beach body if you want to have someone hold you accountable on your health and fitness journey okay last four time freedom i was working in a prison a friggin prison this is my work now literally i'm working at my house still with my plaid blanket and my fire and like I get, I love what I do and I get to do it at my own time frame, time freedom. Unfortunately now during the pandemic, working from home is not that shocking or rare right now. And I work from home. I never worked from home before and I now work mostly from all, all from home. And the next little while we're probably going to be called back, but it is going to be like a hybrid. So I can work from home sometimes and I go into the office sometimes. It's not that surprising. And unfortunately, you're not going to have true time freedom in an MLM unless you're at the tip top of the company because you need to build a big enough downline to get true residual income and be able to 
get your maximum team cycle bonus of $12,000 and then build up to the per week, sorry, and then build up your downline so they also receive the maximum weekly team cycle bonus and then you get $1,200 off of them for your matching bonus, which is absolutely outrageous. You're not going to get time freedom until you get to that level, unfortunately. When my kids start sports, I will never have to miss a game. I will never have to worry about calling in sick when my kids are sick. The freedom and quality of life that this gives us is probably one of the most valuable assets to this job. In my opinion, she's just preying on the fear that parents have of missing out on their children's lives and not being there when their kids need them. I think that's very predatory in a very not super obvious way. And as I just said, if you're working in an MLM and you happen to be working from home, you're not going to be 100% present unless you're at the very tip top of the company and you're going to be expected to be on your phone, listen to personal development while you're playing with your kids, while you're making dinner. And Jessica Hickson has said that she was not present in her when she was in her MLM because she had so much pressure from her upline to be constantly working the business and any moment someone is like yeah I want to join I want to buy something you're going to be expected to get them signed up immediately so there's no time freedom and I wonder if this woman actually has time freedom where she can just work whenever she wants because while she is an elite coach, she is not at the very tip, tip top of the company. So I wonder how truthful she's being right now. Next one. There is no cap in your income. How many of you have a job where you can't get overtime or... There's no cap in your income, but there's also no minimum. So they can pay you zero dollars and it's perfectly fine. You go in to ask for a raise and they laugh at your face like that doesn't happen. There's no income cap in this job. You can work as hard or as little as you want, and your income cannot be capped. And the top earners in our company are earning, you know, mid seven figures a year. The income cannot be capped. So if you're someone with strong work ethic and big dreams, this is an incredible field for you to get into because if you can learn the business model and our compensation plan, you will be like so, so successful in this. Um, a lot of the MLM coaches like Fraser Brooks or Ray Higdon like to say if there are million dollar earners in your company, then you should stay there because you can also earn a million dollars too. And that's totally fake just because the scheme works for one person doesn't mean that it will work for you unfortunately and Ray Higdon says this well you need to focus on the possibility instead of the probability so she just brought up the possibility of wow the top earners make mid seven figures whatever that means right maybe that's like five six million dollars a year wow I can do that too instead of looking at the income dis disclosure statement and seeing that like I don't know I don't have the numbers in front of me like one percent of people less than one percent of people of course make it to the star diamond ranks and unfortunately in the beach bond income disclosure income statement they don't break down the star diamond ranks I just have one rank one rank in the in the chart for the 15 star diamond rank so we don't actually know how many people are at the very very top rank of the entire company so she wants you to look at wow there's no cap I can I can make millions of dollars a year instead of okay they're not going to pay you a wage so you need to sell a ton and you need to recruit a ton to get any money and I've said this before I wish I, I wish this would happen it never will I wish MLMs would pay their employees at least minimum wage wherever they are even though you can't live off of minimum wage in most places but as employees in whatever country you're in you deserve the legally mandated minimum wage of the state or the province of wherever that you're in um okay and then speaking of income i didn't know anything about business you guys this is not my forte but the fact that residual income is a huge component to our compensation plan it's a huge component if you're at the top of the company and i'm going to get into that in a second in the four ways that we earn money but that is a huge asset residual income is is back-end income. It's money that you earn without any, um, it's not a, an exchange of time for dollar. So like you go to work. MLMers like to say that exchanging time for money is such a terrible thing and you should want to be an entrepreneur and not know if you're actually going to get paid. 
And I, I, I like having a set amount I make every two weeks when I get my paycheck because that means I'm relatively young, but I'm already planning for retirement. I have good retirement funds already and that will just continue to grow. And I know I'm always going to have money for bills and like unforeseen expenses and for treats and for social events. And I like having a stable, consistent paycheck. And there's lots of people in who own their own businesses who don't have that and succeed and do have good have good income, but like not everyone can work for themselves. It's hard to make your own money. It's hard to make your own schedule, sorry, and that's just not for everyone. And they like to say, oh, anyone can be their own boss, and that's not true. I worked 40 hours this week, and this is the money that I get paid. That's front-end income. Commission on a sale would be front-end income. It's the instant pay that you get for your efforts. Residual income is back-end income, and our compensation plan is very heavy in rewarding back-end income, meaning... It's heavy on rewarding recruiting. They reward longevity in this business rather than quick money up front and then nothing. They reward the back-end income, the consistency over time. And um, the people who are making six to seven figures, usually 98 to 99% of their income is residual meaning it is not based off of new clients, it is not based off of a new sale, it's not based off of any of that. It is set up for you to work less and make more over time. So it's set up for you to work your ass off for years and years and years until, if you're lucky enough, if you're lucky enough, until you're able to get to the top of the company. And then when you have thousands and thousands of people underneath you, you don't have to work because you're still going to get your $12,000 maximum weekly team cycle bonus and make your $1,200 off of your high ranking coaches directly underneath you and you're going to be set for life without having to work. And so her argument of time freedom is absolute garbage because she's just saying like, you have to work hard now to eventually maybe down the road not work that much. And so are people who are just coming in as emeralds or like Ruby, are they going to have time freedom? No, they're not because she just said the compensation plan is set up for that to happen later. So a huge contradiction. Um, company leads when you reach a certain, when you consistently add, you know, a few people to your business every month, you will get leads from company, from the company, from infomercials and and ads and things like that, which is awesome. Um, and then you, the last two things. That one's not that exciting. It just means if you meet certain requirements, if someone signs up for Beachbody on the site, then they're just going to randomly assign that person to a coach. That's all that is. This gives you a platform. Not everybody wants one. But for me, that was a huge asset. I wanted to remember, I shared with you, like, helping and inspiring people because I literally almost died when I was younger and I, it made me really want to live and not be held back by fear but to shine my light as big as I can because God gave me a second chance on this planet and this gave me a plot. Um, faith manipulation is a big thing in MLMs. I'm not going to go into, a, into, it, into it hugely here but Oh, God wants you to be here. God put this opportunity in front of you and you need to do what God wants you to do. And that's just preying on people's <coughs> close relationship with God and their desire to do, to like please him and everything. And I think that's extremely manipulative. And there are tons of videos all over YouTube about faith manipulation in MLMs. And you can go take a look if that interests you. Platform. I never had that before. It gave me a platform to learn how to articulate and share my story and show up in the day to day and encourage other people that if I can do it, they can do it too. And for that, I'm forever thankful. I'm happy that she has a platform that she's proud of. However, you don't need an MLM to have a platform. You can just start an Instagram page. You can just start a YouTube page and just put out content. And maybe some people will follow you and watch your content. You don't need an MLM to do that. And then lastly, you get the best of both worlds of entrepreneurship and the freedom that you have with entrepreneurship and being backed by a $1.3 billion company in the health and fitness industry. This is where you can make your own schedule, have your own time, but you also get rewarded with free luxury vacations and bonuses and company events and the community. Like it does not exist out there, especially with this. So you're an entrepreneur, but you're still backed by a company.
it doesn't make sense in my opinion if you're an entrepreneur if you have like your own business and your own product that you have all all the control over and you're not having to report back to a company and a company also that doesn't pay you but that you have to pay for the privilege and the honor of posting and advertising for them it's kind of quality and integrity okay i'm gonna dive Okay, that's all I wanted to talk about because she's going to go into how to make money in in Beachbody and we already did that in a video several weeks ago. I know that was a long, slightly rambly video, but I'd love to hear what you have to say about any of the points she brought up. And if I miss anything, you can let me know in the comments below. So that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!